Hey guys, in this short video I will show you two mixes of mine. The upper one is without effects, the lower one is with effects. And uh, tell me which one is better, and maybe learn a thing or two about how to make stuff sound better or not, depending on what you think. Okay, now if you're like most people, you prefer mix number two. And actually I'm fucking with you guys because all I did is I made it sound louder. I didn't, I didn't do anything really like creative, like, you know, make it sound better or whatever. I just made it sound louder. How I did that is by a 3 dB gain boost and by boosting the low end and the high end, which according to the Fletcher Munson curves make us, makes us feel as if something was louder. And um, yeah, that's pretty cool. And of course, the limiter just just catch the peaks. So this is how you make sound better, <clears throat> make stuff sound better. You just make it sound louder, and that's a very dangerous truth, because after a while you will do this. You will make stuff way too loud, and it will clip and starts sh sounding shitty. So what you need in order to really make sound stuff better is you need to be monitoring it at an equal loudness. What this means is you have to use a plugin or do a before or after comparison or whatever. I'll just show you a way of doing it in Reaper. Um, maybe real quick I'll show you what it means that stuff needs to be equally loud. Um, oh, you motherfucker. Position floating over here. Okay. So I've rendered out the processed version. As you can see, it is much louder. You see, it's much more fat than here. But if you select both items and make them both minus 23 LUFs and increase their gain a little bit, you can see that the lower item has um, more dynamics. This one has more dynamics, more, more quiet and upper and loud stuff, you know, like peaks like a drum here, snare drum, I think. Yeah, it's a snare drum. And this one here has been cut off, so the only advantage, and they're both the same loudness now, listen to this. Whoops. Sorry, I fucked up a little bit. So you can barely hear any difference because it's uh, equal loudness. And um, yeah, but this one, like on this snare hit, for example. Anyway, the only advantage of this is that you can maximize it, but that's pretty unimportant. Okay, fuck it. What I want to show you is this amazing little plugin. It's not little. So Reaper is an amazing DAW. It also gives the users the possibility of creating their own plugins like uh, like this. You know, people just open up their coding environment and start coding away. And at the end, you have something amazing. Like for example, a plugin that allows you to um, to listen to what you're doing to your audio at equal loudness basically. So what it does is you put in the source plugin here, the match and control plugin here, and it will measure the loudness of the source and um, measure the difference RMS, RMS average increase of the process material and then uh, turn down the volume. It happens within like a couple of seconds. So let's have a listen. <laughs> So the source material is about 6 dB quieter than the process material, which is why the post gain is at minus 6 dB. 
The awesome thing about this is, um, you can use this bypass switch to bypass all the effects that are in between the AB level matching effects. And you can really hear the objective difference between the two, uh, between your processing and the original material, which is very important in the case of limiting or EQ. Let's try it. Now it's bypassed. You hear the original audio. I'm gonna turn the processed audio back again. So yeah, now you can hear the EQ changes and you can decide for yourself whether it's better or not. But the more, most important thing is it's, it's at equal loudness. So for example, people sometimes tend to drive the limiter way too hot. Why? Because the, they think louder is better. But let's see what happens to the material um, if we listen to it without loudness normalizing and then with no loudness, normali um, loudness normalization. <laughs> So yeah, we made it louder, it sounds better, but if we did the same thing um, when using the loudness normalization, we would hear that the gain is actually pretty, pretty, like there's little gain and, uh, I mean, you gained little quality, you know, by doing another 4 dB boost and also you can hear some very serious distortion. So this is not something that happens if you just leave the monitoring on. So yeah, use equal loudness monitoring when you're doing stuff to your audio because it will it's the only honest way of telling whether you're really making stuff better. How to get the plugin, download it at this site. I will put the link down below. I will also put the link to a Reaper forum uh, plugin thread where he discusses, you know, and explains some stuff and you can ask questions. Uh, once you've downloaded the archive, you will get this little file thing. Uh, where there's some stuff in here. The easiest way to know where to put it is go to Reaper Options, Show Reaper Resource Path. It will show you the Reaper Resource Path and then you have the folder Effects. Create a folder called TB Pro Audio, which is how the guy is called who's doing it. Create some other folders just for uh, organization and paste the stuff in there. That's it. Maybe you have to restart Reaper, but uh, maybe not. And you will have the effects available in your effects panel. So um, ABLM and you will have all the plugins here. And you need the source at the beginning of your chain and the control or the control light at the end of your chain. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I love this plugin. I really, really love it because it makes me make adjustments that actually sound better. This is equal to Wavelab's smart bypass, by the way, um, only with less clicks because, uh, yeah, because that's how it is. So guys, I hope you learned something today. Louder is always better, but then again, it's not because up to a certain point, uh, after a certain point, it will just start killing, distorting your audio. That's the main point here. And have a good day.